Anthony, how you doing, man? Good. How are you, Tim? I'm doing good. So we're talking about the basics of keyword research today. I'm going to go through a lot of the things that I believe you can do to do a little bit better on Google. Now, Anthony is in the sandbox period of his website. And that sandbox period is why we would not offer Anthony SEO services, which is the first year of a website, no matter what you do, no matter what you do, you're going to have a very hard time ranking on Google. It doesn't matter if you had, I mean, I'm okay. Unlimited budget. Sure. Unlimited budget. You could do some crazy stuff, but like otherwise, like a normal SEO engagement, excuse me, you're just not going to do that much. It's just really very difficult. And I'm just making sure I got, uh, sorry, one second. All right. So it's very difficult, right? Um, respectfully. And I know it sucks, but basically from my point of view, Anthony should almost not. So I know he's trying some stuff and I wanted him to do enough so that he could get this ball rolling. And I know that we did a Google boost, which is like some links and stuff there out on the internet to get the ball rolling. But this ball has to roll for a while now so you could probably stop because he's blogging right now and he's probably like damn it's like doing nothing and it's probably you could probably stop and you'll be like the ball will still have rolled enough one year from now that we could pick it up and probably advance the ball significantly and it'd be a good thing i don't want you to stop i'm just saying like you're realistically going to be spinning your tires for a little while on seo maybe that's what with this maybe that's what this video should be instead of me teaching you keyword research it's just the first year is spinning tires dude <laughs> yeah you know, I, the truth is bro, I can't yeah. put down the power yet say it it's again like, i said we're trying to build traction it's like a sports car you know you can have all the horsepower in the world but if you can't put it down it's no good so, exactly a little bit so i was we're trying to put out really good content uh, we feel like we have some best solutions in our market, but we need people to find us. So um, the sandbox period is definitely a different period for websites to rank in. So I'll say this is a couple things. You know what I would do if I was you? I would spend my effort on other mark on other activities. I would spend my mark. I would spend my effort on social, personal social media, connecting with people on in local groups that anthony's like fuck <laughs> like i want to make a rank google's the shit yes but you're probably not gonna let's get your thoughts on this what do you think about um other advertising mediums just in this first year like billboards or radio or what place yeah. do they play in you know, um, you know what i don't i don't have any I have no problem with those whatsoever. And I think anything you can do. So, you know, personal social media and group and referrals, all the, the chamber group, the BNI, the, if you do a billboard, great. If you do like, I'm, I'm, dude, I'm not that huge of a fan of billboards, but yes, do a billboard. Um, anything else? I don't know about TV. I think that's very overpriced on the, on the low end. It's very overpriced. Um, but Anything you can do that's besides this, I think the networking things are the best possible thing and trucks and yard signs. And are you doing yard signs out there? We do have yard signs. And we also have the catch all system, which you can put your logo yeah. on. Uh, but we primarily got that yeah. less thing and more for, we actually want to make sure that we're doing a really good job cleaning up and taking care of the. Yeah, I think I would, I'm cool with you going traditional and hammering any personal social media that you can do. I, I believe in like your personal accounts, not like sitting on, you know, like no offense, like it's hard to get traction with a, with a business account on, on any platform. So if you can get part of groups or anything, you know, so you said right now, Montana, for some reason you're up there, but no one's searching it. And then we're doing, we're trying to do Kalispell and it's not, you know. Um, yeah, not for 
Alice Bell related. We are, I mean, we're page three on Google My Business. Um, I'm not even yeah. sure where we are as far as our website goes on the actual uh, pages. Yeah. I think we're probably, uh, and that could be you're things that I'm doing wrong too. Well, you're, you're not doing website. anything wrong, man. No, I, I mean, here's the deal. You're not doing anything wrong, man. And I, I honestly went in there and made some tweaks for you, like just on like adding the keyword a few more times and stuff like that. The, there's nothing that you're doing wrong. It's just, this is not, there's not going to, we're not going to all of a sudden rank number one for Kalispell without, um, without heavier duty stuff, but it's not even money yet. That's, that's, that's my thing. Even here's the deal. How many people are in Kalispell? Talk to me about this. I had Valley. There's probably 110, 120,000 people specifically in Kalispell. You know, it's like a lot of areas they have got Kalispell and then you've got a town five minutes away. So we'll say the Flathead Valley is pretty much our service area. Um, it's about 110, 120,000, but no one's searching the Flathead Valley either, you know, cause that was my initial thought was on our website, we'd be Flathead Valley, Flathead Valley. Oh, yeah. oh. But it's kind of it like doesn't work. Alaska, what was it on Alaska or what was the, uh, what was the one that it's like the broader area over in lacrosse? Cooley region. Yeah. Cool. No one searches Cooley region roofing. Um, no. So, like if you go to, this is a tool. If you go to a refs and you click this, the for free use a refs for your own website for free. Okay. Um, you can check out it. Um, a refs, which is a really cool tool. Or there's another one called SEMrush, SEM Rush. So I'm going to kind of get into the tool here a little bit and talk about what we do as far as keyword research. Okay. So Kalispell roofing. So this is what I see when I go when I look at that in this tool. This is not an this is not a complete authority on the amount of searches. It's just it gives you some sense. I also talk, I like how I also talk about Pornhub apparently. Great. <laughs> I also, I also talk about Facebook, Pornhub, YouTube, and Amazon. All right. Um, roofing funny. contractors, Kalispell, Montana. So these are the, this is what they're saying. There's amount of searches. But what I use, what I use this data for is like how big, relatively speaking to other, other keywords this is. So it, when it gets low like this, like let's say there's sub 100, 200, 300 people looking it ends up being, this data is not usually super accurate. So we might have a little bit of a harder time just because it's a smaller area. Okay. But what I do like to do is just kind of look at how other people, how, what other keywords are showing up in here. So roofing contractors, Kalispell MT, Montana spelled out, Big Sky. Um, and then the, the other thing I really like to do, um, so, if, what we think this is, I call this the backwards, um, the backwards search method. So if we go Kalispell roofing, we look at who's number one, and then we then we take their website and we pop it into this tool. I love this because then it it shows us what they're really getting traffic for, and then so that might be our guess. And then let's see if there's other keywords. Okay. You know what? I actually don't, th I think you're going to be number one in a year, bro. I think you're going to be number one. This website is trash. Um, like as far as like its rankings go, because look, dude, we got 50. So roofers and their fifth roofing. So I'm just looking at these, you know, that's what I'm looking for. And then let's look up another one here. So, okay. Let me talk through this stuff. Volume means how many people are searching it? every month. And these are usually low estimations. Keyword difficulty, KD, that means how hard it would be to search for. So these terms are not that difficult to search for because two is very low. It goes up to like 50 or 70. And then position is where they are on the Google search page. So this, you can see how this tool, the AREF's tool might be very fun to play around in. I think you'd have fun with it. We're not going yeah. to be Angie. We're that? not going to be Angie.com most of the time, but maybe because if they can be, but that's that's the exact domain. That's why that one's ranking. 
because it's got kalispellroofers.com. And I don't think you really want that. And I, I want to talk through that for a second. I know we talked about it before the video, but I, I just want to talk about why you don't want to do that because you're going to expand once you get, you know, like you dominate Kalispell and then you get two more cities. You know what I mean? Like it's not, you don't want to sit there trying to, the other thing is, is there's not that many searches. Okay, so 50 is probably a low guess that my tool's making, but there's not that many searches for just Kalispell. So if you just rank that, it's not going to blow up your business. You know what I mean? Right. If you were number one for this, it's not going to do that much. So you have to have a domain that then you can go after other cities. And being that your Montana roofing solutions, like you will be able to rank quicker because Montana's in the name and roofing's in the name. So you're set up well. It's just the fact that you then have different um, locations and different cities. Even if you don't have a, a real location, rolling out a location in each one of those areas. Have you started to do that yet? I have done some location pages. I'm just, I don't know if Google docs me for like, I've used a couple of the same photos and I'm just wondering like, okay, hopefully I don't need a hundred percent all these. Yeah, no, you should be fine with photos. Okay. You should be fine with photos. Um, let me talk through like what you can expect. So Angie.com is going to be harder to beat. Owenscorning.com is going to be harder to beat. But if these guys can beat them, that's pretty good. I know that you're looking at this. This is a lot more wily. It's a wild west. It's a little harder to know what Google's doing in that. And sometimes Google just shuffles them and you're like, what the fuck? So yeah, the Google, the things that, my mind. The, yeah, it's a tough thing to fill it out. You did fill it out and get really like, um, you filled it out completely though and comprehensively, correct? I did. I, it still says I filled it out 85% of the way and I'm not sure what it's talking about. That. Okay, well just, you know, you mostly filled out everything and then yeah. you're using the same name, name, address and phone number on everything, right? Yep. Like including what we did for Google Boost. Because basically for the Google Boost, we did a bunch of local directory listings and what you need is the same exact phone number and address on everything, including this map and every single thing that we put out there. That's why I like doing that at scale, because honestly, it's like you need everything to be consistent. That's the main thing, consistency, because then Google is crawling the Internet saying, OK, everywhere there's Montana roofing solutions, it's exact these things. So we can with confidence say that this is accurate and then they're more likely to show you. Um, and then you're getting, you're, you're very aggressive about getting more reviews. Is that true? Yeah, I've been trying to. Okay. So just, I mean, it's patience and time. You're not, but that is a, a very important thing. These first couple of years, obviously, you know that though. Yeah. Yeah. Every, so hey, you, want to, you want to know another little hack? Yeah, go for it. For it. Um, so if I, let me see if I can get you up here, Montana. Let's see how this, does this get you up? Okay, so yeah. you know what I, you can do, man? You can, um wonder why it's not. Usually it will pull up the like sidebar one. A lot of times there's like, let me try something here. I just want to get the actual like main thing up. A couple of things you can do. This is over time. I know you got, okay, there we go. Um, you can ask questions here. We can ask questions to you with keywords in them. So like, for instance, like, so, and then you can answer them as the contractor. And I, I do this to like, if I'm, if this is my business, I'm doing it to myself. I'm asking the top questions and I'm also putting keywords in there. So hmm. I'm asking them to myself so that, so let's just, what's a, what's a common question that you get um, a lot? I'm also answering a question. a common question. Yeah. Talk 
trying to think of a common question that we get. I don't know. What do you think some common roofing questions are? Do you guys do free estimates? I'm just going to say that. These are, we're, we'll do softball oh, yeah. ones here. How's that? You guys do, is, that works. is you guys something that they say in Montana? You guys? <laughs> yeah. You guys, yeah. You guys do free estimates. Boom. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to do a couple. I'm also going to just do one where you can get really like keyword stuffy with Kalispell, okay? So um, I see oh, Kalispell. I want Kalispell roofing in there. See, you guys are one of the top Kalispell roofing companies. Do you guys serve surrounding areas? Do you serve surrounding areas? Is that okay? Yeah, that's great. And then let's do one about pricing. Okay, I guess that one is kind of pricing there. Um, so we got location, we got free estimates, and let's do one about like customer service or something. Um, What, what is one of the things that kind of you feel separates you guys from the pack as far as customer service? I think how quickly we respond is a big difference between us and other guys. So roofing education, talking with homeowners, making sure they fully understand the products that they're getting. And then also things like the catch-all system, um, other things that roofers just aren't doing. You know, we make sure that their property is clean. We spend extra time extra money um on i mean that netting the catch-all it's big i mean i gotta put it in my dump trailer to bring it to the job site because there's so many things uh there's so much netting there so there's definitely a cost of the product cost of setting it up uh all to make the homeowner uh all to make the experience better I'm just gonna, I'm gonna give you a nice softball question. What are some things that set your roofing company apart from your competitors? And then you can just answer. The point is, is like these show up in that listing and it's like just more free real estate. And you yeah. can put some keywords in there too, a little bit. So do answer hmm. these questions in the next few days. They're gonna show up on your Google My Business. And cool. then they'll I'll show up right, they'll show up right here. Um, okay. I know, is this me? I know working with you guys is a, a delight. And I know that you guys care about um, quality and you're using catch all and stuff. Love working with this company. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna lie. Oh no. Tim, I got a question for you. Yes, so sir. this has been brought couple times domain authority i just logged into that ARES site got our website in there it says okay. domain 1.9 um someone else asked me another it was kind of like an an seo type question about uh, well have you looked up your domain something it was like your score almost yeah um, what is like they said well what is your score it was almost like they said like 50 is a good one or something like that yeah Yours is like nothing because you guys are so new. I mean, you know, like you shouldn't, you, <laughs> it's so new, man, you know? Yeah. I was I just wondering, be, do you target yeah. stuff like that? Does, you know, does Hook say, okay, I want, yeah. um, I've got this yeah. domain that's at 25 right now. I want to get that to 50 or. Yeah, I don't, I, that's just something that happens kind of, um, along the way i don't think you should get super focused on it it's really about ranking for keywords that have a volume of searches so just kind of understanding there's a good amount of you know if you rank for 20 keywords that have a good amount of searches you'll make money and then um things like domain authority will happen naturally and yes we we do try to push that up we do try to push it up over time, if we do SEO with you and, and by getting links, this is naturally going to go up. Then 
over the next six months, just because we got a good amount of links for you to start off with a Google boost, it's going to slowly go up. It's just time and Google like metabolizing that. Um, we started the clock basically, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and, and unfortunately, yeah. so you got 30 domains right now that it's cataloged and 342 pages across the internet that, that it's cataloged, you know? So this is, this is yeah, what that the, looks like right uh, now. It's just, what's that? Yeah. That's awesome. I said, that's so awesome. It's yeah, it's back 340. Um, yeah, so. That, that's us just gonna uh, knock it. Oh yeah, and then I linked to you on here too. I I, I just went callus spell roofing replacement. I just look at that. That's a good link right there. Um, okay. but it's directories and you're doing the it looks like you're doing callus spell chamber of commerce. That that stuff is all really good for you. I know you're probably just like, I I know, but just give me money. Give me give me some roofs, and then I'll then I'll believe it. That's basically how no, most roofers feel I, is like if there's not so roofs happening, then there's not. Yeah. So question for, and this might be good for other contractors that are in that first year in that sandbox. Yeah. When we're blogging, say once a week, is it still good to do that? Once you get out of the sandbox, can you still try to, is it important, I guess, to make sure that you have keywords in those blog posts? Like I'm trying to do keyword research and put those in those blog posts, but would it be more beneficial to just wait? on those blog posts to publish until after year one, or should they be published? And then it'll kind yeah. of be like, Google will go back and say, look at all this content. Yeah. So I just did a, uh, an experiment. Um, I made two websites. Um, I made Minneapolis basement remodeling.com and Minneapolis kitchen remodeling.com. And just to see, you know, like, I did one where I did all the links and I did, I dropped like 20, 30 blog posts in there right away. And I did one where I just did the 20, 30 blog posts and no links. So I'm trying to see, and it has exact match domain in it too, right? Minneapolis basement remodeling.com. Um, I believe you need content, like content helps. In addition to the thing, the initial linking stuff that we did, content really helps Google care about your website. It's just, it hurts because it's like that one blog post, most of the time, unless you promote it on social media is not going to get a lot of eyeballs. So most people can't fathom why they would spend the time on that. If that one blog post is not going to be seen, but once you have 20 blog posts, and Google starts to rank a couple of them, then the website kind of, the door starts to open. Hmm. So it's unfortunately, it's really hard to get people to understand or appreciate that that work is not wasted just because it's not directly ranking. Cause they think this blog post is so important. I did this cool thing and I just want people to see it. And it's true. But one out of every 10 might pop off, you know? So it's, it's, it's a hard pill to swallow. And then it's sometimes later on, the, the site will start ranking. And, um, and then some of the, the blog posts that you did earlier might start getting traffic and that's fun, but it's just not every blog post. So that's, it's really hard. That's why people use us is because they can't get their head around the, the effort, unless there's a direct, um, there's a direct result. And so we say, you know, like we, we have, you know, we have enough confidence in ourselves that we can help you get more leads, but it's, it's not, yeah, it's, it's just tough. It's a tough game. SEO is a tough game. Um, but I do want to go through some of these, a little bit more of the detail stuff on, so, you know, my truth is one year, the first year is very hard on SEO. If you're out of that year, and up to that year, you need to do, you need to look for things that people are actually searching, right? And the ideal is, is that you in the meantime here, Anthony, do get a few that people are really searching and that aren't that difficult to rank for. And sometimes weirdly going after terms that no other roofing company would go after because why? But a lot of people are searching 
because we just want to open the door, right? Even if, like, let's do a bad analogy here. Even if a homeless guy comes in, we want to open the door. And what I mean, what I mean by that is it, we need to get people on this website. And I, you know, I know that that's hard for people to fathom. And I, I already know, like in at First American, which is the company that used to work for, there was leads that would come in from around the country. And it's like, what is, why is this coming here? You know, like, or like somebody that's like, in Europe or something and then be like, why, why are we getting a lead? And, and I, I appreciate that, but I also like that, that website got a lot of leads from the area too, because the doors were open. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so we got to open the doors. We got to open the door. Um, so just to kind of like, let's, let's do the, the harsh, I'm going to get really into the granular details of keyword research. But let's look at the harsh reality at, at present. We've got links going. We've got the, the game started, but it's going to be a long time. It's going to be a year. And we're, the game is started and it will, it will speed up if you blog and it will slow down if you don't. It will speed up if you do location landing pages and it will slow down if you don't. And um, in comparison, you've got, yes, 1.9 domain rating and you've got some links. So you've got some decent links too, because if I look at links, it's you are is the biggest number. So if I sort by UR, you've got a 19, you've got a 22, you've got a 21, you've got a 19, you've got a 13. This is, hey, we started the game. This is the game is kicked off. It's just gonna be a lull for a while, unfortunately. Um, in comparison, I'm just gonna show you um, First American Roofing. Is that, is that the URL? Um, this is like, your previous employer and our client that if we look at this, they've got a 43 domain rating. So 1.2 to 43. And this is much, much lower when we first started with them, maybe like a, a 10 or 15 or something like that. And then this is a number I look at a lot is like traffic value. How much would this traffic cost if we had to pay for it? And yes, some of that is driven by crazy shit. Like they're ranking second for house siting and third for roofing materials in the wow. US, which, which is ridiculous and probably not real money for them. But it does open the door and it makes this website rank for other stuff like roof damage, roof replacement, ice dam, right? So, um, you know, I'm not gonna go into, the, we, we're not gonna sit on their keywords too much, but what we are gonna do is we're gonna look at local competitors. So if I put in um, Kalispell Roofing, I'm gonna try to find What's a bigger city by you, man? Uh, Kalispell is the biggest one here. Okay. But Artisan gonna... Roofing seems to do, they pop up first on pretty much everything on Google. Artisan Roofing, that's perfect. Yeah. I want to look at a competitor here, and this is the best way to do this. First of all, most roofing company owners and marketing people are very motivated by competition, so it's fun. I'm not so sure that's... if that's the right Artisan Roofing. Can you go back really quick? You're probably right. I wonder Art... if that's the wrong one, because that logo... I'll, I'll do Montana. I'm sure, I'm sure that's, is this it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that yep. That's it. Yep. Sorry. Yep. That might be like a Minnesota one. So it came up. All right. So I'm going to pop this in this tool site explorer, arefs.com doesn't have a ton of links. So let's see if it's got keywords. Wow, man. I don't think it's going to be that hard to get to the top of this list, man. This is, this is your competitors. Yeah, these are the guys that are at top at the top, and uh, I would say they are the biggest, my biggest competition in the area. I'm starting to think you might not need us because it's gonna you're gonna beat this game sooner than you need us. That's mm. what I'm starting. Well, Dallas told me something once. He said I use Hook because I don't want the competition to ever be able to catch up, and I think I'm the exact same way. There's going to be, there's Bartlett in town. They're close to a billion dollar roofer, I believe. Uh, there's going to be other roofers that come here and realize that uh, the market, there's a lot of work in this market. So um, I think the more we do, the harder it will be for other roofing contractors to catch us. Is that yeah. correct? Yeah. Yes, okay. for sure. It's a moat. Yeah. I think of SEO as kind of a moat. And right. ultimately, the, if you have a great moat in business, the better the business, right? If the, the more you can stop people from coming 
and knocking you off basically by the way you got you got that yet you got the the montana roofing uh tat yet <laughs> i haven't gotten that yet maybe someday. let's go all right That's so i'm awesome, just looking at bartlett here they have a lot of locations clearly huh they do i think they are the i i believe I, don't quote me on this but i think they may be the largest residential roofer in the united states Okay, so this is a great one to look at. Um, let's look at for blog topics through here, not just location stuff. Um, this is a great post. I think you should write this down, Anthony. How Take much does a new How much does a new roof add to home value? I'm gonna I'm gonna feed you some fish today, and I'm gonna teach you to fish. Um, so how much does a new roof add to home value? That's that's fish for you, but you know how to get back to this if you go if you use a refs pop in another competitor and then kind of go down and look for like question type stuff okay and i'm looking this is for awesome. yeah volume and i can sort by volume so that i can see what has the most volume there's 30 seconds for the word roofing i like that um you know you could do this is a principle here you could do but the other thing is is like there's 60 second for this so maybe that maybe it is the other sorting way is better because uh it's also like showing like how realistic is it free to rank for them so the things that make it realistic is if it has a low keyword difficulty on this column right here low keyword difficulty so how much is a, a value does a new roof add or whatever it's like a 20 difficulty so that's like probably the max i'd probably be the max that i would probably go after but I, it's still a good keyword so let, let me look for one that's a little lower i think that would be a good topic to add a youtube video with as yeah. well absolutely i love that angle on things and sometimes it's not like oh you get 100 percent of it back or whatever but like it's basically from what I've seen, it's from 92% down to 50. And it is on the higher side of the average, you know, like you could redo your basement and it doesn't give you as much home value as you might think, you know, like, but roofing does that a lot because it's got curb appeal and all that. And yeah, sure and I awesome. actually, I just talked to a realtor and he said the transferable warranty that you get through GAF is a big deal as well. So not just the roof being replaced, but yeah. having a transferable warranty. Yes. So um, they don't have a lot of blogs per se, but I'm still looking for, you know, does replacing my roof increase the home value? Um, that They're ranking for that one. So I might, let's go to a bigger city. Let's go to a bigger city and knock them off. <laughs> this is a great principle. What's the biggest city in the, the, the state? Billings, Montana. All right, let's go Billings roofing we're gonna go look at the big city like i think people can um sorry i'm gonna go into montana i'm looking i'm gonna skip over these i'm gonna go to maybe this one sometimes yeah, I it's think better to the ones that aren't like that aren't super keyword stuff because sometimes they just show up for that one term so i'm gonna put these guys in their wagner roofing yeah i think they're like a 40 million dollar company from what i heard i like that they're ranked for papa john's heights billings montana perfect <laughs> that's funny okay, so so obviously the intent on this isn't right, but like, here's an example, how to install flat roofing. I mean, <laughs> that would be an example of like, why? Why would we blog post about that? But if there's no one going, the, the keyword difficulty is 19. If that keyword difficulty was zero, I would consider it, even though hmm. it's crazy, because if you ranked for it, the point is, is we got to open the doors. I'm not going to be so particular at the beginning. I need to open the doors. Okay. to traffic on this website because traffic it's not always about getting the leads from these blog posts it's about opening the doors so another example is like what are the you could do best restaurants in city and open the doors because that's something that there's less people blogging about you know what i'm saying um, yeah so 
That's so I do a blog post every week and my wife does one every week. So we rotate weeks. So I think that's interesting because the topics that she writes about are probably less to do with roofing and more to do with other stuff that could help open doors. That's fine. And I think that will be very good, especially if you go for things you'd want. So at that point, it's like, what would I want? I would want, I would want a guide about the five best restaurants in Kalispell, you know, like Hmm. then make that blog post because local people will want that blog post and do think a little bit about like, was this a blog post a, like average homeowner would want? Boom. That's the, yeah. that's, that's the key. That's the key because then we're getting seen at least a little bit by people in Kalispell at least, you know? Um, do you think that every blog, blog post, since it's a roofing specific, obviously it's our roofing website, every blog post needs to have something that ties back to roofing. Like, um, no, sir. I would say no. on average, on average, you're trying to kind of do that for just the clusters of topics that are on the site. But like, I would say one out of five could be this kind of off, like more about the city than the, the services. Okay. That'd be, that'd be kind of the way I'd roll it out. The reason I'm kind of suggesting that now too, is like, that's in the meantime stuff that might actually crack the door. And really what we want is to crack the door. What a, what I want for you to do is to get excited when one of these finally cracks, you know, when one of these finally gets traffic, because you don't know why you should be excited, but I'm telling you, that's the first step okay. is to get the door cracked. So another one, Hey dude, just look at this best lakes in Montana, 203. <laughs> so that might be an example of one you could do to crack the door. Okay. I'm just trying to crack, you know, we're trying to crack the door here for traffic best lakes in Montana. So I'm going to keep on looking here. Rapid city. That's, that's a different state. Um, unique places to visit. Unique places to visit in Montana is 450 and six. I feel like there's, if we're just talking about getting traffic, Sometimes it's good to go for ones with low commercial, like I call it commercial intent, meaning something that like somebody has a good money reason to rank for. It's almost good to go for ones that there's not a money reason to rank for because then there's no competition because it's like, so that one kind of has a a little bit higher commercial intent. So I feel like Hmm. it's going to be more competitive. It says six, but I think it might be a little bit more competitive than that because it is a commercial intent. You know, and right. there's a reason why somebody would really want to rank for that money wise, you know, what is the column that says 400? Is that how much traffic that post has gotten or what is that this, one? This one that's 450. That's how many, that's a low, a very low average probably for how many people are searching that a month. Okay. Searches and then six is it's, it's, they're saying it's really easy to rank for, but I I'm guessing it's a little harder than that based on the fact that there is a there is commercial intent but I'm, okay. i will say that that's an that's an optional one unique places to visit in montana i get that this doesn't feel like we're doing anything related to roofing yet and i'm i'm empathizing with that but then like it's funny it's like roof repair tips 20 people supposedly that's got to be wrong but then 22 difficulty. I believe that it's that difficult, you know, and I do believe there's, I, it's just not enough thing. It's not enough to go after, but, I, but it's also like understanding. I don't know. It's I, I just, I disbelieve these numbers a lot because I, what I will tell you is I have ranked for something that a refs are, this tool says there's zero traffic for, and then got 300 clicks a month from Google. So this hmm, thing is wow. just like two pieces. Like take it skeptically. It's just kind of a rough and sometimes it's just wrong. So like, for instance, one thing that I would like stress to people, I I have the most reference for our, our city, like twin cities, right? Minnetonka related terms on here show as zero a lot. And I'm like, dude, you know, that if you rank for Minnetonka roofing, like let's put, pop it in here. If anyone is in Minneapolis, if we rank for many Minnetonka roof, we know that's money because that's around Lake Minnetonka. It's a higher income area. It's telling us there's 40 people 
I don't believe it. I believe there's more and I know that there's money there. So you kind of yeah. got to trust yourself a little bit. This tool is just kind of a, it's like a, it's kind it's not full scientific. It's like trying to give estimates, you know? Hmm. So like, if you know there's money in a certain area, do spend the time, even if this, this tool says bullshit, you know, it says something, you know, um, what is a hail resistant roof? I don't know. I'm just, uh, these are the things I'm looking at. You know, what is a hail resistant roof types of dude, this is a total, this is one you could totally rank for types of roof ventilation. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I like talking about roof ventilation. So I'd, I would like to do a post on that. You should hit that. You should hit that types of roof ventilation. That's a good keyword right there. All right. So you mentioned areas that have a lot of money. So is there a way to use the tool and target specific areas that you know have, let's say the largest homes, a lot of money there? Yeah. yeah the, the truth is, is most people don't search by neighborhood. So usually it's the biggest city nearby that they're okay. going to search. But I, you got to go by city. They're not going to, I don't think they search by neighborhood, you know? Well, like, okay. So for instance, the, the, place that has the most money here is whitefish all, all pretty much whitefish is the most expensive all the the nicest houses are in whitefish so if we wanted to target whitefish what yeah. would we find a blog post that we could get traffic from whitefish so you, did you already do the uh the landing page for whitefish we did make a landing page for whitefish yep okay. and then the next thing i would do is be like top top roofers Whitefish. I would make the blog post. Okay. To, to go with that. Top top roofers, whitefish. I would make a blog post about that. Top roofing contractors, whitefish, Montana. And then I would put you guys as I wouldn't be so humble as not to put yourselves in there. Maybe put yourselves second. And then the truth is, is it's also a referral thing. Like you can be nice to other people and then just say, hey. But these are the things that we do really well. You know what I'm saying? In that blog right. post. But the truth is, if you do that blog post, you're more likely to show up in this. Like, I, like I'm blown away sometimes by the things we've ranked by, by that. Like Minneapolis marketing. I know that this is like not exciting to you guys, but like the fact that we're like, boom. And then it puts us in the map. Yeah, Just that's awesome. The app with marketing, that's stupid. There's hundreds and hundreds of companies. I mean, that's crazy. Like hmm. the fact that we're in there, there's, there's so many bigger companies than us, you know, like, so anyways, the point is, is when you do these lists and this is just a list, right? 31 best, then you get in the map. That's, so that's, a, that's the, a great idea. That's the strategy basically with that list thing. It's like, I want to be in that map. I'm going to hack my way to the top as best I can. Okay. Um, yeah. So, you know, it's about those city landing pages and it's about using kind of this backwards engineering on people's websites to look for stuff. And then, you know, at answering questions that you get all the time and the more specific, the better, the more specific, the better, because why do I need to, you know, thank you for that idea. I'm sorry I knocked off your idea on t the TikTok with the more expensive pipe flashing. I just, I was like, ask the guy and it was, then it, boom, it blew up. So thanks, I'm yep. sorry. Um, but that's a very specific question too. So that like blog post should do well, you know, on average should do well. Um, the more specific stuff, it's easier to rank for because not 10 people, um, what to, what to ask when hiring a roofing company? I mean, do the blog post. Sure. Do it. But like how many people have written that blog post already? You know what I mean? Probably a but, few. Yeah, probably a few, but what about chimney cleaning, cleaning companies we suggest in, in Kalispell? Like, it's just basically the point is, is the nichier, nichier shit. Like, and, and I do think another one is doing lists of like referral partners and then leveraging it to get real world clout. Bro, yeah. that, that's a strategy. That's a, that's a real strategy because think about that. Think about doing chimney cleaners, pest control, all these things, top 10. And then just like, yeah, we've just looked up reviews 
and you know we we found these seven to be the best and we've kind of done the work for you you put that on there and then you call them up You're like hey by the way i just wanted you to know that we included you and our list we're just learning about the best home service providers in the area and you're you're on there i just wanted to let you know here's the blog post by the way you guys have a great referral partner for roofs because we're here and guess what uh pest control guys do want a great roof person hmm. if you're not doing um if you're not doing insulation insulation guys do want a great roof person you know what i mean like and they they and they sometimes only have sometimes only have guys that have been around a long time that barely care about the business you know yeah so they, they're, they're kind of like, yeah sorry go ahead i was just gonna say that is that is really good advice to touch base with yeah. um we don't do insulation we don't do gutters we don't do siding so all of those trades, we could do blog posts on and then give them a call and just say that exactly. So I love that. So if you do that, then uh, yeah, a lot of those guys, just stress the point that like, you're going to care about the referral no matter what, you know, uh, just so you know, like we really answer the phone. Here's a couple of things that we do well, but I know what you care about is that your person's taken care of. So we're going to take care of your person that you send over to us and, and, um, by the way, we're trying to, you know, rising tide lifts all boats. We're trying to get you guys business too. And uh, we're going to be, you know, we're going to be doing a lot on our website. So hopefully that gives you a, a customer or two this next year. We're, our goal maybe is to just get you guys a couple customers this next year. And if you ever have somebody that would be a good fit for us, send them over. Um, so there's a lot of like, basically, I think that there's a lot of strategies that are like, kind of seo and kind of other stuff you know what i mean like and i think in the meantime while you're trying to rank i would utilize those a little bit more too because like it's going to be a little while like you're in that first year so i would utilize the blog as a social tool and just make sure there's kind of a social play on every single blog post you do so that it doesn't feel like waste to you you know what i mean Maybe that will help you kind of stick with it. Like if you're using it for referrals, dude, that's money. All seven of those pest control companies, that's that's like networking, you know? And I know Anthony loves networking. So like, that's the way to do it in the meantime, maybe. Yeah, that's, I love that because you're, you're doing, you're contacting those companies. So you're getting yeah. out there when maybe, you know, if you're not ranking on Google, you're in that sandbox. Well, at least you're calling these companies, your name is getting out there. And then blog post as well so you're kind of killing two birds with one stone two strategies in one and then if you know like i saw this dreamworks uh roofing which is one of our clients like did the like mm -hmm. selfie with a guy who's cleaning garbage cans and said small business you know like if you if you have if later on they, they're enthusiastic about this let's say this pest control guy says oh my god this is so cool why are you even doing this hey i would love to feature you on our social media like it'd be cool to just do a little video or a photo to get like, I think that's another, that's a next step you could take with some of these guys. If you feel like good vibes and you guys like, Hey, I'm just a new young buck out here trying to crush it. I'd love to like kind of collaborate on something on social media too. And I know it doesn't feel, I know at the beginning, it doesn't feel like this stuff is that important because it's like, well, only 10 likes or whatever. And it's like, yeah, but that's what leads to 50 likes and 50 likes is weirdly important, like for young new businesses to like get traction. And I don't know. I just think that social is weirdly personal, me, personal social media is weirdly effective still mm. personal, like human to human. And that's, I just want to crank on that topic. All right. So we walked you through the AREFs tool. You can also use SEMrush. If you go there, there if, just for people, just one more time, arefs.com. Um, you can do the free version down here, this little pop. Um, at least I think it's a seven day trial. Just crank out all your competitors through there. Look, look at it, look at your own site. The best, I love Search Console. So Search Console is once you have traffic, it's so cool. It will tell you everything that you rank for. Um, and it's 
freaking awesome. And then you can see which pages are getting all the clicks and what people are searching. So like, hmm. uh, yeah, a lot of these, unfortunately, are naming, naming your business posts, but um, on our website, but then we can see like all these searches and then you can kind of double down on them. So once, once you can look at this list and you actually have a lot of searches, it's like pushing into the things that are working with Google Search Console. And uh, yeah, that's a very powerful, powerful tool. So as people get into this, Google Search Console is such a big deal. And all it is is a little snippet that goes on your website. Um, certain that we've got this set up for you, Anthony. I don't know if you're in there yet. It doesn't have, at the beginning, there's not much data. So it's not that exciting. But over time, the data starts to accrue and it gets exciting, you know? No, I right do now, have Search Console quite a bit. I'd say at least once a week, I check it out just to see um, how we're doing for certain things. And it's, it is cool. You can tell like, okay, I did a blog post, then I got more traffic or you can see the things yeah. that you're doing, uh, yeah. how follow together. Um, another, I'm just going to just look at through our stuff that's popped off. I'm going to do a couple of things. One thing is inspiration posts, visual inspiration posts. Why? Because most marketing companies don't do that as much for companies. So like inspiration posts would be a really great way to kind of like roofing, roof and siding pairings, hmm. color, color pairings would be a really good just off the cuff because we do inspiration posts in those, especially when you're early because Google image search is a little easier. So if you can get, um, you know, kind of, just make sure you're using like a little bit more like open source images. Um, just make sure you're not grabbing like photographer's work. And that's the scary part is trying to figure out, make sure that you do that. But if you do this it can be a good thing. You just got to make sure that that's the hard part. You might have to get like a stock photo account and like make sure. But if you did this and it's like 25 posts, you're more likely to rank for that quickly than anything. Cause Google loves images. And you do fill out your alt tags. So the alt tags say exactly what it is. So blue house with black, uh, you know, like shingles, GAF, whatever. And you can keyword stuff it a little bit, but yeah. Um, Cause mostly inspiration posts. Do I need to put a tag? Like, sorry. For um, an alt tag? When, you're saving, when you're saving the image, yes, do. When you're saving it to your computer, keyword stuff it. So say uh, blue dash house dash black dash shingles dash in GIF dot JPEG. Save images that way. This is a hack, but it really works. And then when you're putting it into the website, you don't need to use any dashes. You can just say black shingles with blue siding and, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. But this is when you're doing an inspiration post, all this is actually really important. So don't do this without, without doing all that, because if you if you don't do that, it's not going to be that effective. Okay. And then, um, so I think that's a really good one. Cause yeah, I always get tons of traffic for like color schemes, posts and stuff like that. Um, once again, like this names for us, that's just low commercial intent. That's why we get 60,000 clicks on that every three months. Holy shit. 60,000. That's a lot. Um, <laughs> web design inspiration. Once again, that's a lot of curation of good photos, right? Hmm. Um, I want to note here, there's a couple things in here like, um, where is it? Marketing statistics. I love this one because like if you do like roofing statistics or like, you know, whatever, Kalispell crazy stats or something like that. The point is, is that people then reference that and then it, they link back to it. So anything with statistics or data or graphs, people will link back to your website. If they find that graph and they like it, they'll put it in their blog post and link back to you. So anything that's like a writer's resource, I know this is very niche, but like anything that's a writer's resource gets links. So okay. we do like, what's the best length for a blog post? The answer is, it's, it's, 
we we put something out there but it's basically like you want it to be over 750 and the ideal is probably like 1600 but no one does that so the point is is comprehensive you have to be comprehensive um but anything with data or anything that's a writer's resource we get tons of links for stuff like that and ultimately links are the other big piece of the pie here besides writing cool all right i feel like i'm I feel like I'm definitely boring at this point. So I think I might wrap it up if that's okay. Yeah, that's good. And I've actually got a, uh, a lead I got to go meet with at 2.30. Believe it or not, from Angie right. Lee. Crazy, but. Uh, uh, hey, dude, you know, I don't, I actually don't have any first year, first couple of years. I have no, there's do what you got to do, bro. Get it, get, get that money, knock. Angie leads everything. I'm just saying, as time goes on, I think that the dependence on that is very bad for a company. Dependence. Yeah. Don't get dependent. Um, yep. But anyways, own your marketing at least. Just own, over time, you want to own that marketing. Um, bro, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for doing this video with me. Yeah, thank you. It was awesome. I learned a ton. A lot more than I actually thought I would. I know I've got a lot to learn, but it was great.